Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Kaiser Reich. Today, we are resuming where we left off last time with the Kingdom of Spain, and I believe we are on the eve of the Spanish Civil War. So, we are going to dive right back in without any further ado. Let's take a look. We are going for new construction. Now, I was also thinking about it, and uh, I'm not actually sure which faction we're going to pick here, but depending on... Uh, it's kind of tempting to actually cancel all of this infrastructure. So let's look at where we are building it. You know what, for now, let's go ahead and cancel all of this infrastructure. And you know, we're going to cancel pretty much all the construction. Um, What we will do, I suppose, we'll throw one factory there. For now, it won't get built in time, I do not believe. So let's look at uh, our divisions. We are desperately behind on infantry equipment. So um, I don't want to deploy you. That's the thing. So we're going to cancel that and we're going to add another unit. Because I don't really want to deploy these until the Civil War actually fires. So let's see here. Um, production. So we'll pull back on the artillery and we'll add another factory to our uh, infantry weapons. Should be fine on our production there. Let's look at our logistics. Yeah, we need a lot of rifles for the units we have coming up. Each one requires uh, 900 rifles, 900 infantry equipment. All right, so the Polish military has seized control. Let's go look at that. Yep. Yep, looks like it is a military dictatorship over there, somewhat similar to what we have here. We do have some decent divisions. Now, I... Hmm... It really is going to depend on which faction we end up choosing for the Civil War, and I'm kind of torn on that. We'll have to decide when that pops up. Hopefully that happens this episode, as I would rather like to get into that. It's going to be quite a bit of fun. So, let's check this. New construction is about 40 days away. Research... Construction 1 is about done, which is perfect, so let's go ahead and look here. Uh, we'll probably pick up mechanical computing next, but we also have to think about land doctrine. Hmm. We're probably going to need manpower, would be my guess. Yeah, we're probably going to need some extra manpower, so we may go down... I don't really like going down mass assault... Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. There should be some uh, national focuses that give us recruitable population. So we don't even have motorized tech researched yet. And if you guys are wondering why these look different, it's because of a mod I have installed. Links down in the description. So we don't even have mountain infantry. We're going to need mount. No, not yet. I think what I'll actually do, we do have engineers. Okay, I was going to check that. Um, you know, let's go ahead and get started on, uh, do we start on land doctrine yet? Or do we start on, I think we go ahead and actually get fighter one just to, so we're at least, well, then again, that splits our production. Uh, so many decisions, decisions. Um, we are going to need motorized one way or another. So let's go ahead and get that up and on the go. No template for the support equipment that's being made. That's fine, there will be a template as soon as we add engineers to our divisions. So yeah, I mean, I was hoping that uh, the Civil War would fire here right directly, but it doesn't appear that way, unfortunately. Hmm. So let's go look at the details. We are, yep, Black Monday has hit. Economy focus is nice. Ooh, another 5% reduction. Wait, was that, uh, let's look at this. Oh, that was another. Ooh, 10% total consumer goods factories reduction. That is fantastic. All right, new construction is done. Perfect. So let's go ahead and pause real fast, and we will go ahead and get... Um, No, we're actually not going to get anything. Er, this is tough. This one... Uh, hmm. So we actually really can't even do anything right now, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, hmm. I 
I, I guess we'll just keep going down this line. Maybe we can get it done before the Civil War fires. I mean, we are only about uh, in August of 36, so we do have plenty of time. 20 days till we get our support equipment up and on the go. Very excited for that. That'll help our divisions quite a bit. Oh, getting some frame drop there. Rut row. All right, Arab Congress, nationalists in Egypt. Morocco is Spanish, and it shall stay that way. Are these guys a puppet of us? No. No, these guys are uh, part of... They're a puppet of Germany. Hmm, that could be kind of a problem, because I very much would like to conquer this and link our territory up here. Don't really like having it split up by Morocco. All right, research, nine days. Um, production, we are way behind there, so let's look at this. You guys are getting trained, um... Yeah, I guess we're just going to go no uh, location and see if they actually do get trained or they just kind of chill. Be nice if they would just kind of hang out and uh, wait. Anarcho-syndicalists achieve Italian majority. That is the Socialist Republic of Italy. All right, there are our support weapons. So, uh, let's see, what should we get next? Uh, I think we're going to, let's go ahead and get mechanical computing going. It does take a fair bit to get done. And there's a rather nice bonus. Alright, all of our planes are here and here. That's fine. They're all grouped up properly. Let's see. What is this? Deploy units. Nope. Oh, okay, yeah. So that will be fine then. They'll just kind of hang out and wait until they get their equipment. Or until they get the deploy order. That's fine. Perfect. So that will give us a nice little edge right off the bat during the Civil War, hopefully. I know I've been hyping the Civil War, but it's... I mean, I don't know when it spawns. That's the problem. Our ideology has grown. Um, we are already way in the hole in uh, political power. We have medium popularity. Well, it's not like it's really going to matter, so let's just not burn any political power we don't need to right now. There's absolutely no reason for it. All right, United uh, Baltic Duchy is having some issues. If we go take a look, Latvia and Estonia have rebelled. And uh, we'll look real quick because it's kind of funny. These guys have a civilian factory, and these guys have a military factory. And these guys, oh yeah, these guys have quite a few factories. So this should be a rather cut and dried affair up there. Usually you forget to pay attention and don't end up looking back for a while. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens up there. All right, so new factories will be done in 10 days, roughly. Yep. Uh, seven, 13 days, bleh. 12 days. All right, end of American democracy. So, it appears that General MacArthur has taken over the military, taken over the government in the United States. All right, we have a disaster. That sucks. So, literally, nothing's going to get made. Uh, there will be no construction. There will be very minimal production. Yeah, that's pretty bad. We've already hit our production cap right there. That's pretty bad. Oh, the Russian Republic. Oh, so what happened here? What's happening here? Uh, it appears the Soviets are getting absolutely demolished, and Russia decided to go ahead and declare another war on Alash Orda. All right, uh, jobs for the people. So, construction speed and even fewer consumer goods factories. Well, it's not like it's really going to matter because we have a disaster going. But eventually, this will help quite a bit. Eventually, it'll be really nice. So, if we'd gone down this way, there's probably... Hmm, Civil War averted. You know, we actually might have a civil... We might avert the Civil War. I would be absolutely shocked. As one in a fair national election. So, when are the elections, actually? That is what will really determine things. Uh, by event. So, who knows when that could be. Could be any time between now and next year, so... Yeah, let's see what else is going on in the world. Uh, the Ottomans are still a thing in this timeline. Uh, the Qing Dynasty is resurrected, uh, resurrected or still alive. The Imperial Cities. Oh, yeah, that's right. These are uh, 
a bunch of trading cities in China because Germany intervened in China at some point, I think in, in the 1920s, and forced them to give up a bunch of trading cities and a bunch of people guarantee them like 10 of the world's greatest powers. We're not among that uh, group, unfortunately, so we don't really get to reap those dividends. So let's look. Where Do we have anything else? I just want to make sure because I know we have this. Um, is there anything else? I don't think so. Nope, I think we are good. So let's check, uh, this. We, yeah, we really can't do anything for quite a while there. I do want to conquer Portugal, though, because there is so much tungsten in Portugal. Alright, so it appears the second American Civil War has started. So we'll have to keep an eye on what is happening on the East Coast there, up, oh, and the West Coast. Yep, a second American Civil War. All right, concentrated industry is done, so we will not waste any time. Uh, it is late 36, so I think we're going to go ahead and start on concentrated industry 2 right away. I think that's probably our best bet. So we are getting some growth to our manpower very, very slowly. Yep, there it is. So this will be definitely interesting to keep an eye on and see who comes out on top. I've uh, Usually it's the U.S. itself, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. Breakdown of our society. Yay! There, that might be a sign of the Civil War. Come on. Civil War. Civil War, let's go. Alright, so how many units do we have ready for deployment? At least three. That is fantastic for us, actually. So let's look at production again. 8,800 still. So that's not terrible by any stretch of the imagination. Finally getting there. Support equipment is uh, useless because we don't have any army experience. Oh, let's get that cloud out of there. Alright, jobs for the people is done perfect even fewer consumer goods factories whenever we uh aren't having some uh whenever we're not having some bad stuff all right so let's see here rally the kingdom one of the following oh and we have to be at war interesting okay so i really we're just waiting on the spanish civil war at this point so we're going to continue to look around a little bit. Soviet Russia is definitely not faring so well. It appears the fighting has broken out. The American Union state is actually gaining ground. Oh, wow. Combined syndicates of America are actually taking New England. That's awesome. Usually New England breaks away on its own, but I'm surprised to see the combined syndicates actually taking it. Uh, does not appear the Pacific states of America have pushed out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it appears the U.S. is kind of being slow to scramble right now. Slow to respond, I should say. Slow to scramble? That's ah, something. Our king has a stroke. Oh, no! King Alfonso the Thirteenth suffers a serious stroke. His doctors are caring for him, but the outknown is outcome is unknown. Oh, no! Come on, fire. Fire already! Come on, I'm just... We're just waiting at this point. Well, there is our motorized research. That's kind of nice. Now, what else can we get? Do we start working on our land doctrine? And I think the answer is yes. But the question is, what do we take? We're already on pretty heavy conscription. Um, you know, let's actually look at... Uh, let's look over here and see about national... Um, Manpower modifier, not manpower modifier, uh, recruitable population. Let's see if there's anything here. Okay, it does not appear so. Uh, yeah, it's really not looking like it. Just a bunch of research bonuses. There's another research slot. Oh, there's another research slot. That's kind of nice. Um, consolidate. Yeah, uh, it doesn't look like we're really going to get much in the way of recruitable population, unfortunately. So, hmm. Now the question is, do we go tanks or do we just spam out infantry? And I think our best bet will be to go tanks, but I'm not sure the we have the industry for it. 
So we might have to just literally spam out, uh, nope, we're not going prepared defense. Uh, we might have to just spam out, uh, oh, what am I thinking? Military factories through construction, because our national focuses aren't going to give us too many. Um, hmm, hmm, this is a tough call. Yeah, I think we will just go ahead and get started on mobile warfare right now. We'll go get our mobile warfare doctrine on the go. So, we have a motorized division template already. That's quite nice. The division, the template itself is pretty crap, but that is to be expected. So, why are you a thing? Um, hmm. Let's see. In fact, I am going to change you to just a normal infantry division. And, let's see. Everyone who is not... Wow, none of our guys are actually trained. So we're going to start, we're going to go ahead and start uh, exercising up. CNT, FAI, start operations. Alfonso's in a coma. Call for free elections. Um, hmm. Let's see about this. So let's go ahead and just call for free and open elections and see what actually happens. We're going to try and get as many of our divisions here to not be rookies. Or green anymore. So everyone can stop. Okay, let's see what happens here. 40, 30, 30. All right, the CNT FAI are victorious. We will abide by the result, I believe. Oh, rip Spain. Welcome to the CNT FAI. So, we might... Actually, yeah, we have our own national focus tree right here. We lost the left side, and uh, yeah, that's a little unfortunate. But we can go ahead and start the election success now. It's a whole new focus tree, actually. Well, it's the same one, pretty much, but uh, trimmed down a bit, which is rather interesting. Well, that kind of sucks. I was thinking we were going to have a civil war, but it appears we have gone... The way of the radical socialists without even having any issues. So, it looks like we will be aligning ourselves with the Commune of France and the Socialist Republic of Italy for now. And I think that is actually a good thing for us. So, we have to... Oh, you guys come back. What? That might have... Uh, our navies might be broken. Now, let's hit play and see what happens. There we go. So you guys go back on patrol. Literally nothing has changed. Back on patrol. Come on, guys. We need you to patrol that. And then you guys back to patrol. Um, cool. No, that's fine. All right. So unfortunately, we are going to have to wait for world tension to get pretty high to be able to... Um, the third international. Yes, we have received an... We owe it to France, absolutely. Let's go check out the Third International. All right, so, oh, we have to redo... Ev Wait, do we restart everything? Okay, we haven't lost all of our divisions. We haven't lost all of our research, but we lost all the time we had on it. Kind of a shame, but that's not the end of the world. So it is 37. We'll go ahead and get our industry rolling. Uh, we have 100 political power. Things are rather stable, actually. Let's, uh, let's resume our original plan of buffing the infrastructure to at least seven everywhere. Uh, no, we won't worry about that for now. Yeah, no, we'll get all of the uh, six infrastructure places up to seven, and then we're gonna build more factories. Cool. Cool, well that went uh, not exactly as expected. Oh, we have to reset literally everything. Um, so we'll go artillery, we'll add two here. Uh, we'll add three and one. We won't worry about support equipment for now. No divisions in basic training. That all went away. This is our new army. So we have to, like, reset everything up. All right, this is rather interesting. Oh, a bunch of green divi- Damn it. That kind of sucks. Um, this guy's actually a pretty solid general. So we're going to actually get you guys exercising, get our divisions trained a bit. Um, reassign- you know what? Let's assign Frontline Portugal. Oh, that didn't assign 
all of it. I was hoping it would. Let's just edit this and we will completely surround the Portuguese. Select all of our units. Get them over there. And, you know, we actually won't exercise for now. We'll start trying to build up a bit of an equipment surplus. And we are going to resume production on a heavy cruiser. Because it got stopped, unfortunately. Which is uh, kind of a pain. Civil war in Russia. Help the Russian workers. Lose 1,200 manpower and 1,000 infantry equipment. Sure, we'll see if that helps. I highly doubt it. Although they are, the front has stabilized. German Empire occupies Spanish Morocco. Um, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, for now, there's nothing we can do. We'll go ahead and reclaim it. It's not like we really had much there anyway. Let's check, actually. We had maybe two factories there. Nothing of importance, really. All right, consolidating Spain is our next focus. We actually can modify our government. So we're going to get off uh, civilian factory or uh, civilian economy. We're going to go directly to partial mobilization. If we look at that, now we only have nine civilian factories. We don't have that minus 10% from those focuses we completed as that was the Kingdom of Spain. And this is the CNTFAI. I probably will continue to call this series uh, Kingdom of Spain just to keep the title consistent. But yeah, we have, uh, we have gone radical socialist at this point, which will allow us into the Third International, and it will definitely help us out. So you guys are sending volunteers. We could send volunteers, could we? Um, could we, could we, could we? We could. Hmm, we could send volunteers. Now, that's something we should definitely consider, as it would make our early game much more interesting. Before we wrap things up, because we are about to, I'm going to go ahead and draw up our offensive line. It's going to be pretty simple. We're going to just uh, push Portugal to the coast. So that is the goal for this invasion whenever we get the chance to do it, which will probably be a while Oh well, but like I said, this is where we are going to wrap things up this time. So as always, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you are enjoying the new series. I know I am, and I am excited to see where it goes. So if you guys have enjoyed the content, please do remember to drop a like down below as it really helps the channel out, and subscribe for more Grand Strategy Gaming content. My name's Ori. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and we'll catch you in the next one.